OK, let's demonstrate our project, Sentiment Analysis, based on Naive Bayes and Adabost. First question, what is Sentiment Analysis? There is an explanation. Sentiment analysis refers to a field in natural language processing, which aims to determine the attitude of a writer or some other subject with respect to some emotional reaction to a document or event. Easily speaking, it's to judge whether the attitude is positive or negative. Surely it's so easy. Project, what algorithm used? There are two algorithms. First one is improved naive bias, and the other one is Adabost. Before implementing the project, we should do data processing because it's very necessary. It has a great effect on the sentiment analysis result. The first step is to remove missing words, for example, remove blank lines, and then we will remove punctuation marks and uh, some special symbols. And we also do some spelling correction as well as removing stop words. The final step is to marking the plurality labels. Pay attention, stopping words derived from nearly 100 experiments other than standard stopping words dictionary. Now we will talk about improving like bias. Firstly, let's have a review of original naive Bayes method. It's a simple classifier based on Bayes theorem with strong independence assumptions between the features. And the definition is illustrated as the following formula about probability. And we intend to find the max probability of words based plus time scores. However, the improved naive Bayes is to introduce an adjustment factor weight as the following formula. Next, let's have an example for understanding improved naive Bayes. Now, I will give five records of natural language with the sentiment positive or negative as a class label as following. After counting, so we can get a list of the unique words. Then, let's go to the step one, calculate word frequency in the document. In the following process, I will count each word frequency. After doing this, let's look at the probability for quotas. Step to calculate the probabilities of per class. And in our example, we can get the positive class probability as 0.6 and the negative class as 0.4. Then we should calculate the additional probability. Step 3. Calculate weight. And there is a question. Why introduce weight? Because weight is a normalized adjustment factor to reduce the correlation among words. And weight can be calculated by the formula with TF-IDF. TF refers to the term frequency and IDF refers to inverse documental frequency of word T. Step 4. Find the maximum probability. Firstly, we should calculate probability 1 and 2, and then comparing the two probabilities to find the maximum one. Finally, we can predict sentiment based on the max probability. This is a total process of improved naive bias, and then let's understand Adabost based on naive bias. Also, the question: What is Adabost? Adabost is an intuitive algorithm. Its core idea is to train weak classifiers on the same training set, and then combine these weak classifiers to form strong classifier. Adabost is implemented by changing the data distribution. In our projects, we introduce an adjustment factor ds, which represents the degree of negativity of naive bias. And the formulas are illustrated as the following. Next, 
let's go over the process to get the optimal DS. Because add boost is an iterative process, so we can find the optimal DS by iteration of gradient descent. In the end, the optimal DS means the minimal error rate. Next, I will show you the iteration gradient descent process in our project. In essence, the process to get the optimal DS is to find the minimum error rate. Definitely, in the process, the error rate is gradient descent. And it indicates the iteration process in our project on the right hand side. And until in the end, we can find the optimal DS. Which means to get the strong classifier. Finally, which is the same thing, we also calculate and find the maximal probability. In this way, we can judge the sentiment. Above all, this is our project sent for working. <laughs>